What's up, people? Boy, I tell you what. These Volvos are just crazy for freaky stuff happening. I... Look, I'm going to show you just, something. I'm just now looking at this. I'm going down Interstate 35. Look like maybe something like this was done before. I don't know. But if you know, there's something actually missing there. There's a part of it right there. This thing just popped off, and I'm gonna tell you the reason why I think. This wind, I was going into the wind, and right now I'm kind of like blocked, blocked by the wind, you know, where the truck's blocking the wind. But um, this wind is so freaking strong right now, and I was going head into it, just this head wind. And um, right, I was going down through there. I don't know how fast I was going, 60 something. And there come that thing just pops off. I was like, something, I just hear something like maybe something hit the truck. You know, it's like a pop. I was like, okay, whatever. I didn't see anything. I was in the right lane. I looked over and this thing's all dangling. And that's all gone. I'll show you what it looks like, what it's supposed to look like. See? You see how wind can get up underneath there, maybe, and uh, bust it loose? And I'm thinking that's what happened. Because this wind is so crazy. There's uh, a storm right over here. I just went through it. I was going, um, you know, before I got to Norman. I uh, was coming from the from the east to the west and that wind was blowing that way and it was raining and stuff and well I tell you what I mean it was uh, something to keep it on the road so anyways uh, I obviously that's wind and everything but Just freaky stuff. I I can't under I, I I can't explain it to you guys, man. But I'm here at the tractor supply in Purcell, Oklahoma, and get these racks out of here. Just got three. I mean, if you remember here, like last April, I was going down the road again. It was a storm, and um, they come passenger side window just like shattered had pieces of glass on the inside of the truck and the outside of the truck. and for the life of me i don't even know how that happened but that i could see how it happened with the wind and um just freaky stuff man i don't know if it's a volvo because they're cheap i know the windshield is the windshield or not the windshield the uh windows a window but that thing right there i don't even see the purpose of it i guess it helps out uh with um you know aerodynamics and whatever and too much wind and it's gone because you figure if this wind and, and i ain't joking this wind it's actually starting to calm down now because i stopped after i leave here i'm gonna go back south and i'm gonna probably run back into it because of that storm but if i'm going if that wind is 50 miles an hour and it's probably that much wouldn't be surprised um maybe even more and i'm going 60 miles an hour to it there's that much force going into that you know someone someone who's good at math can go figure all that stuff out because, you know, what, what you want to call that? A hundred and ten? I don't know. Some of you math jockeys out there can figure that out. But, uh, anyways, I got to figure out how to get that piece off there. And um, that way it's not going to sit there and rattling. It's embarrassing. But, uh, anyways, I'm going to stop by here and then... Um, but there's a Walmart right up the road. I'm going to go 
stop by there and get racks out of there and then i'm gonna go meet a guy down in sulfur oklahoma so Whew, weird stuff i just figured i'd come on here and tell you guys all about it anyways talk to you guys later 73